Hey guys, my name is Dave, and let's try to ignore what you guys just heard, if you can hear it still. I don't know. Welcome back to another video. So, this hoodie, oops, wrong side. This is a gift from my brother that took six friggin' months to get to me. Or should I say to, say to get to their place, it's just after that it was given to me. Um... But it was supposed to be a Christmas present and ended up being closer to what, what it should have been a birthday present. I find it kind of funny, but it does remind me of one factor. Online shopping. Before I get to that, though, I do want to give a um, verbal thank you to my brother for giving this to me. Um, back during Christmas, I kind of teased him a little bit, uh, but I am very grateful for the gift. So, if you see this, thank you. Now, my family watches this channel off and on, so I don't know. Maybe, may, maybe he will, maybe he won't. But anyway, I digress. What I want to talk about today is online shopping. I do it a lot. Uh, like, a lot, a lot. The only times I don't is when I'm grocery shopping or shopping for, like, you know, clothing needs, sometimes. Um, for the most part, though, I do prefer online shopping. And not because of any kind of recent circumstance or anything. It's just kind of my personal preference as a whole. But it can be very finicky. That's kind of the factor that I wanted to talk about. I've had some experiences in my life where you'd go, where I'd go online and... I'd look for an item, and the reviews would be good, decent enough to go, you know what, that could be a possibility, and yet, still they felt off. I'd buy the item, and either I would never receive it, or by the time I received it, it was damaged in some kind of way and I wouldn't be satisfied. Now, does this happen often? Really, depending, it depends on the person you're asking, what your answer will be. For me, no. But the reason for this is because I only buy from individuals who I know for a fact I can trust and rely on. Every website online that involves shopping has verified customers. And I always only rely on those reviews. Otherwise, I assume the review is the person who actually made the item and reviewed, the, reviewed their own content. Or content or um, device or whatever it might be. For example, um, DK Oldies. That's one of the websites that I get a lot of these older games to Let's Play on. Um... Heavens, it's technically where I got uh, the Retron 5 I own. Uh, for those who don't know what that is, it's just, it's it's a console simulation kind of thing. It simulates a lot of older consoles, from the Genesis to the Super Nintendo to Game Boy, like the original one. Um, yeah, also including the Japanese versions of some of these. But I digress. Um... I know I can rely on this because of the reviews from legitimate customers that I've actually received. Some of them being people I've legitimately met, too. Um, but then there are websites like Wish, where I've heard 50-50. 50% of people say, oh, this is great. I received it in time, blah, blah, blah. And then the other 50% would be... I've been waiting five, six, seven months, and I still haven't gotten it. Because of the fact that this, these individuals I'm talking about are actual customers saying it, because it's 50% chance, I would rather go to a much more reliable place like, for me, um, Amazon or Walmart. I'd rather go there than go on to Wish, rolling a dice to see if I end up actually getting the item. Online shopping, 
the point I'm trying to make is online shopping can be very hit and miss. Now this is just my own personal opinion. Take it with a grain of salt because everyone's experiences can vary. But this is mine. And mine comes with a hiccup at the end, apparently. Thank you guys so much for watching this uh, episode, uh, this discussion rant video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. I don't want to get off of Rage right now. <laughs> Fine. If you liked it, make sure to push that like button. It's so hard, you can't say no more. And if you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. If you have a suggestion for a um, a topic you'd like discussed on here, please let me know in the comments below. Either me, Pink Fox, or at some point Aaron. Maybe we can discuss it on here. Um, but if you want to check out any other of the many discussion rants already on here, click link on the side of my head here. Or, and you'll hit your destination over there. Or... If you want to check out something that might float your boat a bit more, whether it's our uh, gaming comedic type videos or first-hand reaction gaming videos or any of the other vlog type stuff that we do on here, why not click the link on this side where you might be able to find something that suits you a bit more. In the meantime, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for tuning into this video, everyone, and we hope to see you guys in another. Catch you guys later.